Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2019 Honda Odyssey, we're gonna be taking a look at the Thule Helium Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack. So the rack that we have here today can hold up to a total of two bikes, but if you're looking to carry an additional one, there's a three bike version available as well. Now what really separates this one is it's made from aluminum, so it's gonna be really lightweight. So say for example, if you need to take it out, say throw in a cargo carrier, you're not gonna have any trouble. It's really manageable. It's so light, you could even set it up on the top shelf in the garage out of the way. So one of the big questions we get asked all the time in regards to these hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna be able to have full access to the back of your Odyssey. Well, this one does fold down out of the way and allows us to do that. It's gonna be a lever down here. And when you pull up on that, this will swing down and give us enough room to open up our hatch and get anything we might need in and out of the back. So once you grab your gear or whatever it is you're going for, when you're all finished up, you can close the hatch. And then we can just swing this back into that upright position. With that being said, my first impressions is I think the rack actually looks pretty good on the back of the Odyssey. It has a nice modern appearance and goes well with it and it kind of holds your bikes in the perfect spot at least in my opinion just high enough off the ground that you can kind of keep an eye on them in your rear view mirror as you're going down the road but it's not going to be up so high that it's going to interfere with your driving so that's always good now the way the rack works is very simple it's super easy to use and operate it's going to secure our bike down in three spots so we have two straps here along the top of our frame and one strap right here. It's gonna act as a anti-sway strap and that's gonna help prevent that side to side movement. That way we don't have to worry about our bikes kind of banging into each other as they're going down the road. And with that being said, let's go ahead and pop our bike off so we can take a better look at the rack itself. So these straps, all you have to do is push down on this tab and swing them up and over the frame. Same deal down here with the anti-sway strap. And once we have them disconnected, you can simply just grab our bike and slide it off out of the way. So the cradle here where your bike's frame is going to sit is somewhat adjustable. So it'll kind of accommodate different size and types of frames. And it's also gonna have a really soft rubber material on it we're gonna have that same material on the bottom of our straps too so we're not gonna have to worry about any scratching or anything like that occurring on our bike's paint however i do recommend whenever we're not using the rack just to put these straps back in place so we don't have to worry about anything happening to them now something you need to think about whenever we have the rack on the back of our odyssey in this position it is going to extend the overall length of it and to find out exactly how much, we're just going to take a tape measure and we'll go from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack. That's going to put it right at 30 inches. So although it's not taking up a ton of space, it's something you just want to kind of keep in the back of your head whenever you're pulling into a garage or tight parking spot. Now the arms do fold down to make it more compact. And if you just lift up on this lever, we're able to swing those down. And that'll free up quite a bit of room actually. We'll take that same measurement from the hatch to the very edge. That's gonna put it right at about 18 inches. So in this position, shouldn't really give you any issues at all when you do go to pull into your garage with that tight spot. So something nice with this rack is it actually is going to have an integrated pen. So one less thing you're gonna to have to worry about picking up separately or keeping track of. So anything you need to use the rack, it's going to stay with it. This is going to work with those two inch by two inch receiver tube openings like we have here today on our Odyssey, but it can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. So it gives us a couple of different options there. Now we are gonna have this knob here and when you tighten this down, it's going to act as a anti-rattle device. So that's gonna eliminate all that slop and play here in the connection point. So what that's gonna do is not only keep the ride inside of your Odyssey, that much more quiet. It's also gonna provide your bikes with a little more of a smooth ride as well. So to kind of give an example on how that works, say if we're cruising in our Honda, going over some bumps, 
you can see that the rack is going to move with our Odyssey and not on its own. And if you're wondering how this rack actually performs on the road, let's go ahead and spin it through the test course and see how it does. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side to side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Helium Pro Hitch Mounted Bike Rack on our 2019 Honda Odyssey.